Hey everybody and welcome back to FSI DFS. I am McKinley412 and last night was fun. Uh, Tage Thompson, 63 DK points. That might be a new record. Like that was just unreal. Three goals, three assists, nine shots on net. He's now got three straight games with eight or more shots on net. Um, he's a force to be reckoned with at this point in time and he was still only 6k. Uh, so things went very well last night. Hopefully uh, we can move forward uh, and just kind of keep it going. You know, Jensen, uh, he was only 3.5K. He got a 16 DK points. Uh, Jeff Skinner was right there. He got like 26 DK points, I think. Noeason, the punt for Carolina, who we highlighted. Uh, he had a power play goal. So hopefully, you know, we can highlight some of these uh, great uh, value plays for you again. I'm not going to go through every single uh team 12 game slate it would just be far too long so let's just kind of look at the odds here real quick um as they're updating in real time as you see uh tampa bay minus 205 on the money line new york rangers minus 245 I'm just going to highlight some of the bigger ones minnesota minus 245 Islanders minus 200. I think that might be a little uh, far for them. I, I think this game's going to be a little bit closer uh, and then this minus 200 is really saying. Uh, Edmonton always in play at on home ice for sure. Uh, Calgary minus 245 and then Florida at minus 275 uh, playing in Mullet Arena uh, over in Arizona. So we got a couple or a handful of, you know, really large favorites. Um, it's going to be important to, you know, figure out uh are you going to be running that mid-tier uh kind of build or are you going to go like stars and scrubs um because there are a lot of stars that you know you do want to be targeting but they're going to be very very pricey so um yeah i'll just kind of go by i i'll be completely honest i haven't built anything yet um so i don't know where the salary is really going to be shaking out i was kind of going through the player pool seeing where you know some guys were kind of standing out for me uh in the matchups and all of that so we'll just kind of go we'll go game by game but not go super in depth uh, game by game, uh, like we normally do. But Tampa Bay, you know, they were a big favorite, minus 205 on the money line. Braden Point at 5.7K, he's still too cheap, in my opinion. Uh, just being a top line center, uh, skating alongside Nikita Kucherov, he skates on the top power play unit. Um, I, I think 5.7K is just going to be far too cheap for him at home. He's going to be a guy that I'm going to have some interest in. Uh, Nemesnikov, 2.6K. He does skate on that top power play unit with Tampa Bay. Um, but yeah, if he's not scoring or getting an assist on that power play, he's not really going to be doing anything. So this is like an extreme punt, uh, if anything. I know the power play, you know, power play one is enticing. Um, but, you know, he really doesn't have a floor to him at all. Sam Kos and Kucherov, always going to be in play. I don't have to talk about that. Uh, Brennan Hagel, he skates on that top line uh, with point with Kucherov. He's 4K. He might get you, you know, two or three shots on net, but that's pretty much it. You're really hoping that he can get a goal or an assist because uh, if he's not doing that, you know, he's not going to hit the shot bonus for you. He's not going to block any shots for you. Um, he doesn't skate on the top power play unit with the other guys either. Uh, so a 4K. You're really just kind of banking on a goal or an assist. He's a GPP, uh, in my opinion. I think there's other better values around here if you do want to go a cash out um, in the lower tier. Uh, Victor Hedman, obviously, uh, Sirkachev, they're always in play. Uh, over into the Rangers, like I said, I'm not going to talk about every single team. I'm just going to kind of highlight the the more um, the heavier favorites and then just some values on the you know the underdogs that I think you could be targeting, um, but. New York Rangers, uh, Kander Miller, 2.6K. I still think that he's just too cheap. I, I know, like, the production hasn't been there, but this guy, you know, he's shown the talent. It's there. It's coming. Um, so I, I think that, you know, he'll be priced up a little bit more in the future. But So I, I don't mind him if you want to go, like, extreme punt uh, in the defending in the defender position. Zibanejad, 8.5K. He's salaried uh, right in between Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. I could see him being pretty popular here tonight. 8.5K. He has been a machine on home ice. Uh, he's averaging, like, five or six shots on net uh, at home at home uh yeah five games played 32 shots on net i know it was a little inflated because he had like that nine shot on goal game uh to start off the season but still you know he's hit that shot on goal bonus around like five uh four five six you know every other game so i think it's the is going to be pretty popular here uh for the rangers panarin Kreider, always in play uh panarin would probably be my favorite of these guys uh, Lafreniere is probably my favorite point per dollar guy um, on the Rangers. He skates on that second line uh, with Artemi Panarin um, and centered by uh, Vincent Trocek. But 
I think Lafreniere is probably my favorite point per dollar guy uh, on the Rangers. So if you do want to go there, don't mind that at all. Vegas, Washington game, um, Ovechkin, only 7.1K. I mean, this is the guy who we were paying uh, 8K at the start of the season or more. And it's not like he hasn't produced at all. I mean, like he's still almost at that point per game pace. He's still got five goals in his 10 games, and he's still shooting the puck and is in line for a shot bonus every single night. Uh, so Ovechkin, if you want to stick in that you know, upper mid-tier, excuse me, uh, stick in that upper mid-tier, I don't mind him there. Uh, Vegas is the favorite. I think the Vegas is the favorite. Let me see. Whoops. Yeah, Vegas is the favorite here. Washington is plus 132 on the money line. Uh, but still, it's 6.5 over under. Uh, so there's going to be goals. Washington's not going to get shut out at all. Uh, so Ovechkin, I think, at 7.1K, you are getting a little bit of a discount with him there. Uh, Johansson at 3K, you know, he's he gets on that top power play unit, so he's super cheap. But we're going to go right back to Nick Jensen. He is back down to 2.9K. We cored him at FSI last night uh, at 3.5K because we were really targeting. You know, we wanted a guy uh, who was going to see a lot of shots against. He was facing Carolina, who just pepper the net. He was going to be in line for a great uh, block shot bonus opportunity. Uh, he can shoot the puck, and, you know, he is the leading assist uh, getter, a sister, uh, whatever you want to call it, on Washington this season, believe it or not. Uh, so we court him paid off his value it was awesome now he's only 2.9k going up against vegas vegas is right behind carolina in shots on net per game this season so is he going to be court again we'll see i'm not gonna i'm not gonna call anything uh but he is certainly a value that is going to be in play uh, and you want in your player pools here tonight on the other side of the things vegas they are favored um vegas defenders you know we love them uh you can go pretty much anybody there and then their wingers are just so, so cheap. But it's because Vegas is such a, you know, depth team in terms of scoring. Like their first, second, third line, all of them can generate uh, offense. All of them can light the lamp on a routine basis. So that's why they're so cheap is because it's so tough to pinpoint either of these guys down. Uh, but they're all in solid spots. Chandler Stevenson, nine point, or uh, 3.7K. Skates on the top line, skates on the top power play unit. He's probably my favorite Um uh, like point per dollar value play on Vegas. And this is kind of where I was talking about, like, I don't want Brandon Hagel for Tampa Bay at 4K skating on a top line there. Cause like, I mean, I can go with a pretty similarly um, odds wise, you know, favorite for even cheaper who produces much more than Hagel does. So Stevenson at 3.7K, don't mind him there. Carlson at 3.2, I think is too cheap as well. Um, might have some interest there. He's probably one of the, my favorite He's not the favorite, but one of my favorite uh, punt center plays uh, they can be targeting. Boston Pittsburgh, I just have don't have a good read in this. Pittsburgh's looked horrendous. Uh, they just got home from a long West Coast trip, and they just got beaten down by Vancouver and Seattle, Calgary, Edmonton. They lost them all, uh, and they only scored one goal in each of their last three games. So Pittsburgh, uh, they're not going to see any ownership at all, especially going up against the juggernaut Boston. Boston, I mean, they're still facing Pittsburgh. Like, that's not a slouch team. Uh, so I don't know how this game's going to go about. This is like GPP only for me. Not really too interested in cash. Minnesota, Minnesota uh, one of the biggest favorites on the entire slate at home against Montreal. Uh, Goudreau just talked about Steven uh, uh, Carlson and like cheap center players. Uh, Goudreau is probably one of my favorite uh, center position guys who are cheap. 3.3K. He's going to see a lot of ice time. He skates on that top line with uh, Kaprizov on one side, Zuccarello on the other. So if you want to pair him with Kaprizov and Zuccarello, these guys are expensive. But, you know, Goudreau, super cheap. You can really balance out the salary if you do a full line stack there. Kaprizov is my favorite uh, winger position, uh, top tier winger position guy in terms of salary. You know, you got like Pasternak and guys like that up there. But Kaprizov is going to be my favorite. Um, anything else from uh, Minnesota? Totally fine. Eric Sendak, 5.9K. Don't mind paying him there. Boldy, this guy is incredible. Um, he's going to be an incredible uh, player for years and years to come. Um, you can kind of see here, you know, his shot production is up. He can, uh, he's can. he got five goals in nine games. 4.9K, fantastic mid-tier option if you do want to go that route. Rangers, or uh, sorry, Islanders and Chicago. I do think, you know, this game's going to be closer than Vegas is saying. Um, but 
Islanders, another tough team to like really narrow down like who's going to be generating the offense from there. Uh, but because you know they're so deep, um, and that like they don't really have one true like this is the top line for the team. It's not like Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, like we know it's going to be Kucherov and it's going to be Braden Point and all those guys. We don't have that with the Islanders, the, the scoring just is so spread out, and that's kind of why you see the salaries are you know pretty limited, even though they have some great fantasy point. Uh, production per game on DK. Uh, it's just because, you know, it's so tough to to narrow them down. So I'll let you guys kind of figure out where you want to go with that. Uh, but that's pretty much it for that game. LA and Dallas. LA is going to be on a back-to-back. Um, but still, you know, Kempe, 4.7K. He still is too cheap. Uh, Velarde, this guy has a goal in eight of his 11 games uh, played. His shot is incredible. Incredible. He's got a wicked release. Um, he hasn't had a multi-goal game here yet, and he hasn't really hit the shot bonus, uh, but still. Uh, this is some guy that you have to be paying attention to. Uh, he's an up-and-coming guy. He's not really that guy that's going to be you know, in the league for a long time, going to be very popular. Um, so get him while he is still cheap at 4.4K. On the Dallas side of things, I don't know. This, this is just another game where I'm not too thrilled and probably not going to be targeting anybody in cash games to be completely honest with you um they've kind of slowed down after their hot start to the season but not too interested in dallas we can go with you know one of the cheaper guys here on their defense a guy like lindell um he could be a guy that you'd be targeting um but yeah not really too much interest in that calgary on this side of things um calgary love any of these guys um, always interested in their defense or like Vegas. I'm always interested in their defenders. Um, and it's another team that, you know, very suppressed salaries just because, you know, the scoring is so, um, spread out, but Huberto at 5.3 K to Foley at 5 K. Those are going to be your two, uh, wingers that you want to be targeting to Foley while he hasn't like, you know, gotten on the score sheet as much as, you know, we would want, but I mean, I guess he is only 5 K, you know, Three goals in seven games, 5K, that's fine. Uh, but we've been targeting him, you know, just because he's been providing a lot of floor points. He's hitting that shot on bonus uh, a couple of times here, especially lately. 5-5, five, 4-4, five, four, four, and 3. Um, going up against Seattle, Seattle can let up uh, quite a few goals, especially on the road. They let up quite a few shots, that's what I meant to say. Uh, so if you want to go in our mid-tier route, you know, Toffoli, I think, is the guy that you could be going there. But Kadri, Lindholm, Backlund, uh, any of these three guys down the center position. Uh, Calgary is one of the best, you know, down the center um, teams in the entire league. So any of these three guys, Backlund, you're getting a severe discount at 4.3K. You don't see as much ice time as Kadri. I think Kadri's got your, you know, your highest uh, ceiling with these guys, but 7.2K going to be tough to kind of squeeze them into your lineups. Edmonton and Nashville. Edmonton's always in play. McDavid, Dreisaitl. One guy I want to highlight here is uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins at 5.7k. Um, this guy the past, you know, two weeks has been absurdly productive. Shots on net, you know, it's not always, you know, consistent. There's games where he has duds, but even on those games, you know, He's able to get, you know, on the end of some assists. He skates on the top power play unit. He's skating with guys like McDavid routinely. He's skating with guys with uh, dry sidle as well. So the opportunity is there. He's seeing close to 20 minutes per game. Um, don't mind him as a mid-tier play uh, at all. So it, it seems like as I'm talking, like I said, I, did, I didn't do any builds. But like as I'm talking, it seems like I'm going to be paying attention to like the mid-tier uh, with these... Uh, with these wingers, um, so like guys like Ryan Nugent Hopkins, I already talked about him. Timo Meyer, we'll talk about him in a little bit, but like 5.3K, this guy is just a shot bonus machine. I know the puck hasn't shot, hasn't hit the back of the net too much. You know, he's only got one goal in nine games, but still, like this is, if you're going to be getting a floor of the shot bonus, I mean, he's already paid off his salary uh, essentially right there. And, you know, puck luck is going to happen. He's going to get on the end of the net or on the end of, you know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. He's going to score soon, sooner or later. It's going to happen. Uh, he's got a great spot against Anaheim there. Uh, Pavelski, Marsha Show, Boldy, already talked about him. But, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be sticking in this mid-tier range. Uh, Vancouver, New Jersey. 
Uh, New Jersey is somehow only allowing like 21 shots on net per game against, which I, I don't even know how that's possible. Uh, so not interested in Vancouver. Um, New Jersey could have some interest in them. Guys like Jesper Bratt, uh, 5.8K, don't mind him at all. Zetterland, he's kind of coming on. He had a goal last game, 3.4K. Heisher and Hughes, don't mind them at all. Mercer is another uh, value play they could be targeting if you don't want to go with the Devils. Uh, no interest in Arizona. Florida, I kind of actually like Bennett over Barkov, to be completely honest. Uh, Arizona's been shutting down, like, the top line of teams. It's kind of been weird. Um, but the top line... The top lines of teams going against Arizona have actually kind of really struggled. You know, even it goes back to like earlier on the season. Uh, you know, Arizona shut down like the Matthews and Martyr line for Toronto. Then they shut down the Pasternak and Bergeron line and DeBrusque for Boston. Like it's kind of just kind of held true. Uh, so I kind of almost lean towards the Sam Bennett uh, route and going with that second line of Florida. So it would be like Bennett and Reinhardt here. Reinhardt has been like one of the biggest disappointments, I think, in the entire league. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, the talent is there, but man, it is just nothing is coming together for him. Uh, if you do want to go cheaper on Florida, Verhage is probably going to be the option that I would turn towards. Uh, but they're just another team that's just like so deep um, in, you know, depth, talent at forward and guys who can put the puck in the back of the net. Final game, San Jose, Anaheim. Not really too much interest in Anaheim. Uh, actually, that's just cover over Anaheim. Uh, Mason McTavish would probably be one of my favorite guys uh, if I was going to be targeting Anaheim here. Obviously, Terry and Vitrano, they've produced so far this season. McTavish, not so much. Uh, but McTavish, you know, he, he's he's a guy you're going to be know You're going to hear his name a lot more over the co next coming seasons. Uh, so I don't mind him at 3.3K. So getting him while he's super cheap. Trevor Zegers at 5.1K. It's not like San Jose is like a juggernaut by any means. San Jose is arguably, you know, one of the worst teams in the league. Uh, they're hovering around right around like with Arizona and teams like that. Uh, but San Jose, I already talked about Timo Meyer. Uh, he'd be the main target that I would be targeting for them. Uh, Barabanov, yeah, I don't, I, to be honest, I'm not even sure, but he was on the top uh, line for a little bit there, top power play unit, so we'll have to see where the lines shake out, uh, but maybe he's like a super cheap bunt play, but yeah, I would be targeting Timo Meyer if I was going to be targeting this game at all and uh, playing with his line mates, so I just realized I never really talked about defense there um, in this entire time. Uh, but defense, what, what we've been doing, and it's been working very well, it's just, you know, kind of come down here in like the mid to lower tier range, especially in cash. Um, take guys who are going to be seeing a lot of shots on that, who can block a lot of shots. I already talked about Jensen, 2.9K. There you go. I gave you one. Um, Jensen, 2.9K. You know, he's been uh, producing. He's also been blocking shots. He's going to see a lot of shots going up against Vegas here tonight. Uh, so, yeah. So, Hopefully, uh, all this kind of helped you out and guide you in the right direction. Uh, I think there's a lot of mid-tier plays, especially in that winger, that I do like. Uh, as far as the center position, I mean, there's so many guys you could, you know, focus. It's Edmonton, always in play. Uh, but if I was going to pick guys, it could be like Zibanejad, uh, Heischer, Jack Hughes, um, Erickson Eck, Braden Point for sure, uh, Sam Bennett, da -da -da -da, Nelson, going on down here just kind of seeing like some guys that stick out mercer he could be a nice value play for you um goudreau carlson johansson those are probably the guys that would be targeting for the center position then just like a lot of those mid-tier wingers so that kind of covers everything uh as always thanks for watching uh, i really do appreciate you guys watching these videos and uh good luck tonight and we will see you in the next video